Hi there, my name is Amanda Hill, and in this video, I'm going to show you about bundling and how you can add things without a barcode. So I've gone across to the Add a Product, just from here, and then go to Add Products. You can see that I've got it highlighted, so it sits across here for me too. And just underneath here, you'll find a whole heap of lovely things that you might need. So let's just look at this section here, because it gives you all sorts of really useful information. So firstly, it says how to list products that don't have, and most of those mean barcode for one reason or another, but it's a standard um, GTIN that they're telling you, which is the Global Trade Item Number. And that is a unique product code, ISBN, which you'd find on a book. And basically anything that identifies your types of product. So there's lots of things that you can see on here. And it says, what if it doesn't have one? Sometimes the products are already listed on Amazon. So you can literally just list against that. You should check there first. However, you might need to request an exemption. So there's lots of different reasons why you would do that. And you can click through and find the overview of the category requirements and things that need it. So let's just go down to where you can apply for an exemption. So here is the link that you need. So just click through. And here you're gonna put in the category and the type that you're looking for. So you're going to select category and I'm going for beauty. And it says to add generic in the type on branded items, but it also says for bundles. Now I'm going to test this and see if it lets me do it. Otherwise we'll go for generic. So as you can see, it's decided, no, you can't do it for that brand. So it's going to have to be generic and let's just go and do that. So back to this page again, click select, click the category, turn it to generic because it's a bundle and then click for eligibility. So now we've got to a section that says add a product. So we're going to click add a product. Now I know that my product is not sold on Amazon because it's a bundle that I am creating. So let's click I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. Now, clearly, I've been here before for varying different things. However, the category that I'm looking for is makeup. So there we have makeup, makeup sets, makeup concealers, makeup palettes. Now, as it happens, none of those are what I actually want. So let's get four more in depth. And we've got lipsticks, and that's where I want to be. So I'm going to click and select that. And now I'm just going to add in all of the information that it's asked me, add my pictures, add my content, make sure my title is optimised, make sure my bullet points are optimised, and name my pictures before I upload them. So I'm going to go for it and add everything and hopefully it will all work. So I filled in what it's asked me on this and now I'm going to click save and finish or perhaps I'm going to add some variations in first and some pictures. I think we best do that first. Okay, so we are live. Let's see how long it takes to actually get listed and see how long it takes for sales. Now you can't just sit back and hope that sales come. You can either direct traffic from outside Amazon or you can use ads from inside. Whichever way, creating a listing and expecting the world to make it happen is not how Amazon or any business for that matter works. You then need to have an action to make it happen. So hopefully you can go off and make your own now.